Joining me now here on the MMA Report is a man that's going to be returning to competition. Global Knockout Nines we be looking for his fifth win in a row, and it's going to be a rematch title on the line. Angel Deonda is going to be taking on Justin Baseman. Baseman is a champion here, so Angel looking to capture that title. Angel, I appreciate the time. Obviously, you won the first fight by a TKO. So uh, what is the advantages for you to take this rematch? Um, get a fifth win in a row and hopefully get to the UFC. And, and, and that's what your management had, had told me, that the fact of what has kept you going is that goal of getting to the UFC. Is there anything else that's kind of kept that, that engine going and why you continue to, to go through this uh, road of being a fighter? No, nah, just reaching a goal and making new goals. That's what it's all about. I want to you know when I started to fight, I wanted to get to the UFC. And I haven't made it yet. I and mean, I know once I get there, I'm going to want to make some new goals, make try to make a, make a run there. But it's all up to them, man. I'll just keep on fighting. I love fighting. It's what I do for a living. And so I, so I love it. I'm blessed to do it. I think for a, a majority of MMA fans, fans outside the state of California, they remember you from your time in the World Series of Fighting. Now, since you've left that promotion, you, you've won five out of your last six. Uh, how would you say you're different now as a fighter, as opposed to your two fights in the World Series of Fighting? Um, just more knowledge, more experience of fighting. You know, um, when I was with World Series, uh, I was just so hungry to fight and wanted to fight. <clears throat> I still am now. I was taking any matchups. And um, it was just kind of hard to get going there. Like, you know, when I was when I was supposed to fight Spongs there, he was... Uh, I was supposed to fight him, and then I wasn't. And I was supposed to fight him again, and then he couldn't get his visa thing all set up. And then when I fought, I was supposed to fight him the third time. It was kind of like, is this really going to happen? Because is some is he going to pull out, or was something not going to go through? It didn't happen twice already. So, I mean, I got ready. I was in the best shape ever for that fight, and it didn't happen. And I uh, wanted to go to 185s fought a, a legit wrestler at 185 it was kind of a bad matchup for me but i wanted to fight bad so i took the fight and it was just a great fight i mean i you know i hung in there it was my first fight for 185 and i don't think i should have fought a wrestler i probably should have fought a striker mm -hmm. Going back and looking at that now, any any regrets in taking that fight, or or is the way you look at it is everything happens for a reason, and uh, you know ultimately is hey, you know you, you live and you learn and you grow from from that. Um, yeah, you live and learn. I I'm I don't have no grudges against those guys. Or oh man, there you go. Can you see me? Yeah, can't see you. There you go. Yeah, I don't have no grudges against those guys, against the World Series. It's it's just business, and, you know, I wanted to fight. I took the fights. I wanted to fight Spongs at first. When I watched the very first World Series of fighting before I even got signed, and I seen him, and I seen he didn't have a record. That didn't bother me, but I, cause I knew he was a – I didn't know he was a K-1, but when they were talking about him and his K-1 background, his striking background, I was like, man, that would be a good fight for me. That's a stand-up guy. And uh, so I've wanted to fight him ever since I've seen him fight in MMA. And, um, you know, it's no hard. It doesn't matter. It's just it's water under the bridge now. I'm ready. You know, I've I've just gained a lot of experience from those two fights, so And I just kept on pushing. 12 of uh, your 16 wins have come by knockout. No submission wins. Is there all part of you that uh... – you you would like to get that submission win, or is it like, look, man, I just, I just want to knock dudes out? Uh, well, jiu-jitsu is for self-defense before it became sport. So if I ever end up on my back then, and I get a good opportunity to pull off some moves, then I'll probably get a submission. But if I'm going to knock somebody down, I'm not, I'm not going to hunt for a submission. I like yeah. to strike. So, you know, the only way I'll pull off a submission is if I get put on my back by and I get a good opportunity, then I'll probably pull one off. But other than that, I don't care for submissions. <laughs> I mean, they're nice. Mm -hmm. they're, I mean, I like grappling. I understand it all. I like to grapple, but I just love to stand up and fight more. 
we mentioned about the fact that th- this is a rematch between you and Justin, the first fight taking place at Tachi Palace 27. What, what do you remember about that fight the most? Is there anything that kind of sticks out to you about, uh, you know, what he was like as an opponent? Um, he was, he's game. I know he's game. He's, he's it's going to be hit and miss. You know, sometimes he does, sometimes when people, everybody expects him to lose, he pulls off like his best performance and pulls it out. And I know at GKO, at middleweight, he's undefeated. So, I don't know, maybe, I don't see nothing different happening. I see me going in there and finishing him again, getting the win, because he's really a welterweight, and he just got an opportunity, took it, and capitalized on it, and now he's stuck fighting me again. And I'm just going to go and take that belt. He enters this fight with three straight defeats. You handed him the, the first of those three defeats. Do you see anything different in him in his, his his last two fights as opposed to when you fought him? He said he was hurt when we fought, so hopefully that was his excuse. So hopefully he don't have no excuses after this one. Does that bother you that, that he said he was hurt after the fact? Yeah, because that kind of takes away, you know, from if, if a fighter says, oh, I was hurt, that's why I lost, or their excuses, that kind of takes away of takes away your hard work your like six week keep that you put in for that person uh well what if they weren't hurt or you know it's just them look fighters looking for excuses complaining you know one of the cliches you tend to hear in the fight game is the guy that lost the first fight has the you know has a little bit of advantage in the second fight because they realize what they have to do to make those improvements to, to ultimately get the victory. What, why, why do you feel is it is your biggest advantage the fact of, look, I already know I can beat this guy, and he's not going to make the changes that uh, he thinks he's going to need to make? Um, shit, I don't know, man. Dude, I don't know whatever he thinks he's going to do. <laughs> if he, I don't think he – hopefully he don't – or hopefully he does think he has an advantage, and this time he'll put up a fight. Last time I, he just – it wasn't – that much of a fight, I was just chasing him down, trying to get him. And I know it's going to be pretty much the same thing this time. So whatever he thinks he's going to make an ad- – whatever he needed to fix to make an advantage on, I've I've made fixes on my side to where the fight's not going to go to a second round. Mm-hmm. I'm just going to finish. He ran a lot, and I, you know, I figured out – some. I didn't figure out, now I know what I had to work on to, you know, cut the ring off and – I don't know what he thinks he's going to do, but I'm going to send him back to welterweight. You mentioned, you know, you're, you're hoping that, you know, fifth win in a row here that, that gets you to the UFC. I mean, is, is that something that, uh, you know, your management believes is is reality, that that can happen, or is that just, you know, kind of what you hope happens? I hope it happens, God willing. If, uh, if my man, I mean, I got the best management team at Iridium Sports. They got a lot of guys in UFC, so... If if the fifth wind is what I need, then Baseman's going to get it, and hopefully I get that call. If not, I'm going to keep on fighting. Final thing, Angel, and I really do appreciate the time. You've been around this game for for a long time. What would you say is your best night in MMA? My best night? Probably, uh, well, I've been around for a while, and I started out as a heavyweight because I used to weigh like 330 pounds. And, uh... I started out as a heavyweight. My best night would be when I won my first heavyweight, my first title, the heavyweight title. That well, would be my best night. Is there anything, uh, was it just the fact that you won a title, that's why you, you, you view it as your best night in the sport? Yeah, it was just, that was like the best keep I ever had mentally, physically. It was just, it was a really good keep. I was mentally ready for that fight and physically ready, and it just, it all came together. And, of course, this fight coming up here, Global Knockout and 9 is going to take on Justin Baseman for the middleweight title. Angel, I appreciate the time. Anywhere where people can follow you at on social media? Yeah, they can follow me at Angel DeAnda on Facebook or Angel the Dream on Twitter and Angel and Crystal on Instagram. Angel. Yeah, oh, and I got my, uh, my Snapchat, Medestrian for Life. All right, that's where everyone can follow you at. Angel, I appreciate the time, and good luck here at Global Knockout 9. All right, thank you.